How can you make a Minecraft server for free? Let's go ahead and jump on into it. First things first, you want to go here. This is the second link in the description down below, and this is our in-depth text guide on getting a Minecraft server. It's really cool because if you, instead of wanting a vanilla server, which is what we're going to be setting up in this video, if you wanted a server with plugins or mods or fabric mods, forge mods, this covers all of that and is worth checking out if you want those specific types of servers. But if you just want a vanilla server to play with your friends, that's what this video is going to show you. Go ahead and click on download here, and it will take you to the official download page for the Minecraft server jar file. Where do you download it? Well, right here, where it says download Minecraft underscore server dot jar. When you go ahead and click on download there, it will start downloading. You may need to keep or save the file depending on your browser. And while that's downloading, have it is from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash simple to start a Minecraft server in just a few minutes. You don't have to worry about port forwarding. You don't have to worry about, you know, allowing your friends to join it. And you can easily add mods, plugins, mod packs, and customize the server any way that you want. Plus, there's expert live chat support there to help you out. So if you want to start a Minecraft server without having to do port forwarding or download anything and just make it as simple and easy as possible, go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash simple. But now the server jar file here is downloaded. We can go ahead and minimize the browser. And what we want to do is create a new folder on our desktop here. Now I'm going to name this folder Minecraft server, but you can name it literally anything you want. Then you want to find the file we downloaded, that server.jar, which for me right here it is in the downloads folder, and move that into the folder you created on your desktop. Now when you open that up, you'll have the server jar file in here. Now if you don't have .jar at the end, I would recommend going up here to view and making sure file name extensions is checked just so it's the same for you and me. But nevertheless, now all we need to do to start this server is double click the server.jar. Now for me, I know that's going to go ahead and create some files and folders here. It actually won't start the server, that's normal, but it should give you some files and folders. If for whatever reason this doesn't work, it's because you need to get Java. Specifically, you need to get Java 21 for Minecraft 1.20.6 and newer. So any modern versions of Minecraft, you need Java 21. Very soon this article will just feature Java 21 because it's now what you need in Minecraft. After you get Java though, you may need to run the jar fix and what this is going to do is take all the jar files like the server.jar and link them back to your computer but first get java then run the jar fix and then you'll be good to go now we can go ahead and double click that server.jar if you couldn't and you'll get these files and folders here we want to open up the eola.txt file you can open this in notepad and in this file assuming you agree to the minecraft eula linked here which we do you can change eula equals false to eula equals true true exactly like that then click file save and the eula.txt file is now accepted now at this point all you've got to do to start your server is double click on this server.jar file when you do a basically gui is going to open up where you can manage your server you'll be able to see the players that are online on your server the current memory usage as well as the console over here and what's going on on the server I'm going to go ahead and move this to the side and show you how you can join this server. So here we are on the Minecraft main menu. As you can see, the server is still up over here. Now for you to join, what you'll do is go to multiplayer and click proceed and you want to add a server. Now I'm going to name this local connection because only you can join this server and it's using your local connection to do it. Now, if your friends want to join, we're going to show you kind of how to get to that point here in a second. But first, let's see if you can join it. So for the server address here, we'll type in localhost as the IP. So localhost, all one word, all combined, all lowercase, exactly like that. Then click done. Now we have this local connection load up and boom, that's this server over here. And if we double click on it, we'll be able to see us join in. You'll see us pop over here into the player section. We are now online on this server. Now, with that being said, you probably want to play Minecraft with your friends. And in order to do that, you're going to need to port forward. This is our in-depth port forwarding guide. It is linked in the description down below and 100% worth checking out. It goes over everything you need to know to port forward. We've got text guide. We've got a video guide, all of it, in order to make sure that you can port forward for your Minecraft server and get it done properly to where your friends will be able to join. This is the most difficult part of making a Minecraft server port forwarding, but if you just wanted to start a server on your own computer and test it, we've now done that. If you wanted to add more RAM to your server, this is guide in the description for that, as well as how to fix broken Minecraft servers. It's a 20 minute video fixing tons of different Minecraft server issues that's really, really helpful for anyone who's wanting to manage and run a Minecraft server. We also have this, which is how to allow Java through Windows Defender Firewall. If after you port forward, your friends can't join, that's what this here can fix. But nevertheless, at this point, our server is set up, and I did want to give you a, a quick little overview of some things to look for on your server. One, you're probably going to want to opt yourself. What that'll allow you to do is things like game mode creative. As you can see right now, it's not going to work, but if we come over here and opt ourselves in the console by typing here op and then your username 
will be able to see it is made as a server operator, and now I can go into creative mode, for example. Something else that's worth noting is other settings in your server can be changed in the server.properties file here. You can just open this with Notepad, but it's kind of crazy all that can be changed in this file, such as allowing flight, setting a message of the day, setting the default game mode for the server. All of that stuff can be changed here and is worth checking out as well to make sure you can kind of customize your server and make it your own. But nonetheless, at this point, you now know how to make a Minecraft server, and to properly stop your server and ensure everything is safe, come over here to the server's console and type stop right like so and hit enter and that's going to shut the server down saving all the files saving the world all of that but nevertheless thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel for more incredible content and enjoy your new minecraft server we'll see you in the next video i am out peace